Hey, just gonna show you an article in the new Acts and Facts magazine about seafloor sediment research. Now, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, this is about sedimentation, you know, rivers like the Mississippi River, Amazon, all these rivers are putting sedimentation into the ocean at such a rapid rate. If the earth was much over 6,000 years of age, there should be far more sedimentation. You know, some of these like the Gulf of Mexico should be filled up. But it's not. It's con very consistent with the young earth. But that's not what this article is about. And I'll just read you the article highlights here. It says, many scientists use the Milakovich Ice Age theory to claim that thick polar ice sheets and deep seafloor sediments are very old. A closer examination shows that the science used to support this claim doesn't add up. And I'm just going to read you a paragraph out of this. This is done by Dr. Uh, Herbert, Jack, Jake Herbert, PhD, Research Associate Institute of uh, Creation Research, and uh, he got his PhD in physics from the University of Texas at Dallas. So ages for the ice cores are usually tied to the ages uniformitarian scientists assigned to deep seafloor sediments. Those ages, in turn, are assigned by the astronomical, or, or Milikovovich, Ice Age theory, which claim ice ages are paced by slow, gradual shifts in Earth's orbital motions that cause subtle changes in the way sunlight falls on Earth. Most secular scientists believe the astronomical theory is correct because of the well-known 1976 paper, Variations in the Earth Orbit, Pacemaker of the Ice Ages. And so... Then he says, early in my investigation of these claims, I realized the pacemaker results depend on an age assignment of 700,000 years for the most recent reversal of Earth magnetic field. Secular science, scientists use this reversal located at the depth of 1,200 centimeters within a Western Pacific sediment core to assign ages to the two sediment cores used in the pacemaker analysis. Yet secular scientists now claim the age of this reversal is 780,000 years. After replicating the original results, I redid the pacemaker calculations, uh, taking the new reversal age into account. This revision significantly weakened the argument for an astronomical influence on climate. It. My recent Acts and Fact article shows how you confirm these results yourself. So basically, the Ice Age was caused by the recession of the waters of Noah's flood and didn't have anything to do with 700,000, 780,000 years. And science is now backing this up. We have a PhD in physics sharing this with us, of which there are many thousands of PhDs in science, in science that are totally against Darwinian evolution. But you'd never knew it, never know it by the megaphone of the major media and our universities here in the States. God bless you. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Just believe that in Jesus' name. Amen.